the corner of Todd Foster, coaches Ken Adams and Tom Coulter. United States has been going well after the poor start. They have won the last five that following the knockout of Kelsey Banks and the Anthony Hamrick uh, fiasco. So we're underway, round number one. Uh, remember the publicity on Foster has always been that he's more of a pro than an amateur. He wants to knock him out as fast as he can. He's got power, he's got confidence, and he's on a roll. He is willing to gamble that uh, he can be outscored by points because he'll eventually knock out his opponent. And at times that has been the problem in that he will move in and forget about defensive tactics. Might get away with it in this particular bout against Raha Lu, but as the opposition improves, that will not be the case. You can't always hit the guys as solidly as you like. Foster punches with uh, a great deal of devastating accuracy once he gets started. Rahalu right now not offering anything but a moving target. This is thus far not a fight, it's a hunt. Remember, three effective scoring blows equals one point. And a scoring punch means a punch from the white portion of the glove must make contact. Blow must be knuckle surface blow. And uh, no extra points awarded for it. A knockdown, it is uh, simply one scoring shot. And also uh, punches that are not to the target area, which is the front of the face and the front of the body. These punches to the shoulder, to the side, that you see landing do not score points, but they do score pain. Punishment that um, is inflicted, no points, but you slow the opponent down. And a caution against Raha Lu for the headbutt, first portion of the bout, left hand. Flash by Foster, prompting the roar. Right now, Foster's outspeeding Rahalu. Rahalu's felt some of that power that Foster's got, and he doesn't seem inclined to mix it up right now. Chant of USA for Todd Foster from Great Falls, Montana. 45 seconds remaining, first round. Rahalu's getting back and forth. Oh, and down! left hand and that's the power of foster one punch can put you right on the seat of your pants caught him coming in any combination of standing eights or knockdowns adding up to three in one round and the bout is over adding up to four over the entire bout and it's over you see the time running down approaching 10 seconds to go in this opening round and what a power right hand under the heart he put in as his first punch after the knockdown did foster that is it for round one start for Todd Foster, 22% proficiency in round one according to our counterpunch. Foster in the blue and Khalid Rahalu of Morocco in the white. Well, what you can't teach, what you can't train, what you can't strength and exercise is heart. And that's what Foster's got in spades. He doesn't have a great defense, but when he gets gone, he fights even harder. And for a small man with a compact body, he's got an enormous heart. He's a 139-pound light welterweight. And again, the uh, chant of USA as Raha Lua has been getting that left hand in. Lou better do something to keep this tiger off of him and uh, the something is just what he's doing jabbing and moving away he moves to both sides well and it's up to foster to cut him off Ooh, he's sounding right hand that drove rahalu back in oh, the left now. hand again connecting on the chin of rahalu second time that he has gone down you see time remaining in the second round convincing display of uh, foster power here it only takes one of those punches and they go down like a sack of potatoes coming up to the halfway mark of the second round todd foster 
looking to convert the caution against Rahalu for a hold. Very few cautions thus far. This has been a chase. Foster fighting with almost total disregard for anything that Rahalu can uh, put on him. He just wants to land that um, lead like left or right that he's got. Boy, he's got power in either of them. Just under a minute left. In the second round, Marv Albert and the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco from the John Kill Students Gymnasium. Todd Foster looking to add to the American winning streak. They have won their last five after the uh, slow start. Again, the referee bomb got just looking to lean in. Big right hand by Foster, and that will do it. Todd Foster has stopped Khalid Rahalu of Morocco, and he is out. And now the concern is for Rahalu. The doctor in immediately. That's the one great thing about Olympic uh, boxing. They have a staff of doctors, and boy, they are fast coming in. Rahalu's moving his legs, moving his arms. He's just got knocked out. It's stunned. It's a concussion. He will be up in a few moments. The doctor just keeping him down until everything is right before you stand a boxer up, and that's exactly what he should be doing. He is right on the right on the mark. The referee was just moving in to give a standing eight count, and of course, here he's getting up nice and slowly. See how he's doing, Rahalu. Indicating he's all right, going back to his corner. The official time, 2.19 of round two, and a dazzling start for Todd Foster of Great Falls, Montana. And here is the right hand that uh, put Rahalu down, and that ended the bout. And as he did in his last bout that we saw in Charlotte, added another little punch on the way down to remind him to stay down like this is going to hurt and the next one is just to remind you don't get up and we got a good look at the Todd Foster and his power in that United States Canada dual meet uh, in August in Charlotte in fact uh, Foster re-injured his hand said that no problem it's okay and obviously it is we saw both the left hand and right hand at work here today he was used with great power and used accurately he didn't waste any motion I really like what I saw today in Todd Foster and next for Todd Foster in this light welterweight bracket, Chung Chin Chul of Korea, who earlier today won by a third round knockout. So that should be a very solid matchup for Todd Foster. An impressive start as he stops Khalid Rahalu of Morocco in the second round. Now to Wally World. Here's Wally Matthews. Well, Todd, a spectacular win tonight, but you seemed to be a little bit tight until you landed the first knockdown punch. Was that just a case of first bout jitters or what? I think it was mostly first bout jitters because I get better as the tournament goes on. I'll get stronger and stronger. I was just a little bit off. My range was there. wasn't quite there. I was just coming up a little bit short. And then finally, I started stepping it up a little bit and uh, caught him with an overhand right at the end there. Before the bout started, I noticed you glancing up into the stands at your family and friends. Uh, how important is it for you to have them there? Well, it's important because, um, you know, you're in a foreign country. Nobody else is here rooting for you. So it's really nice to have somebody there. There's been some concern among U.S. boxing people that you could have some problems with the referees here because you have a bit of a roughhouse style. And I noticed that you did try to get one more punch in after the final right hand. Are you worried about that at all? No, I'm not worried about it because I'm going to fight my game and whatever, whatever happens, happens. Here I am right there. I stepped up and caught him with that overhand right. And uh, I, I felt him going down, but I wasn't for sure. He fell right at my knees. You got the Korean coming up next. I'm sure it's going to be a tougher night than this one was tonight. What do you know about him, and how will you fight him? Well, I didn't get to see too much of him. I, I know he's a right-hander, which which is nice because it's a little bit easier to fight him, a right-hander than a, a lefty because he's a little unorthodox. But uh, just going with my same game plan, throw a lot of punches, and uh, try to catch him. Okay, Todd Foster, a big winner here tonight. Now back to Marv. Thank you, Wally. So for Todd...